Uh, so we've been doing six packs in and wine. We call them our DIY beer and wine kits. You can still have the same experience at home, just without the bartender. We've been doing Buzz Balls, which is a female-owned company in Dallas. It's a little cocktail to go. Our big hit has been these Frosés that Atlanta makes with uh, rosé wine and our slushy machine with fresh fruit and some simple syrup. With these sales, we've been able to earn enough to pay our rent. That's basically it. And so before, when you know we were bartending, we think of it as we're doing a service to our community. But now it's like the community is doing a service to us. They're coming in here and doing everything they can to keep us open. They're basically like our, our GoFundMe account. Uh, they've, been, they've been really, really great. I didn't expect it to last this long. I was like, this is a temporary shutdown. We'll take this time and we'll use this time to, you know, improve upon a couple of things while we're waiting for the reopening to happen, right? And then two months turn into three and four and five, and six, and you know, it, it may be a year. I think it's preventable. I don't think it's necessary. We could easily open up at 25, 30% capacity safely and provide an environment for people to sit down and have a drink and a little interaction, which is what they're begging for. That you can tell when you walk down the street and you look at the restaurants. I believe the reason the bar have fallen through the crack is because the, Roy Cooper doesn't have a lobby to answer to. You know, the, the bars don't have a, a, a lobby to put to them. You know, after he originally said just restaurants can open, he comes back a couple of days later and says, and breweries and distilleries. Because I'm sure that craft brew organization got, got a hold of him. So if you're asking me what my opinion is on why he has let bars fall through the cracks, it's because he's a coward. He's a coward. He's trying to make it look like he's being tough on the pandemic now, but he's only, he's only being tough on small business. He's not being tough on the pandemic. It doesn't, he's not worried about people's health. If he was worried about people's health, there wouldn't be restaurants open. There wouldn't be, none of these other places would be open either. You can go to college, you can go to church, you can go to a restaurant, you can go bowling. You know, you can go bowling now. But you cannot come in here and sit in a, in a bar that has a hundred, a hundred people capacity, you know, at twenty-five percent or whatever, you can't come in here and let us pour you a drink. You can have that same drink at, at the restaurant around the corner. It's frustrating.